As we learned in the last video, it's a little daunting to think of all the things that are killing off our healthy bacteria. Um, it's no wonder, really, that there's such a rise in gut issues like Crohn's disease, IBS, and all these other things, but also a lot of other diseases that are linked to the gut. So the good news is that this body of ours, it's really incredible and naturally it wants to heal. And there's also things that you can do to kind of help your body build up that healthy bacteria. So I wanna go into some of those today with you. The first one, which is, you'll hear me talk about this over and over and over, is fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Um, now, for those of you that might not know where fiber comes from, it's very, very simple. All plant food has fiber and no animal food has fiber. So all I say to people is, I don't even care what diet you're on, just make sure you're getting enough fiber. So if somebody says to me, okay, well, Charity, I have, I don't know, scrambled eggs for breakfast, chicken breast for lunch, and a steak for dinner. All I'm gonna say is, please, please get enough fiber. We used to think that fiber was this undigested food starch that just goes through your body, and that's true, but here's what we now know. Remember all that bacteria we talked about in your body? It needs food and guess what it eats? It eats fiber. Now, if you think of something that 97% of Americans don't get enough of, it's fiber. So when we talk about balance of healthy bacteria and how important bacteria is in a healthy body, if you're not getting enough fiber, like, like most Americans out there, you're really not doing your body any favor. So, um, what I want you to remember is, you ladies out there, you need 25 grams of fiber minimum. You men, you need 35 grams of fiber minimum. Um, and I can give you a few examples, let me think. Okay, so a potato. You could have a potato with an avocado on it. That's about 14 grams of fiber right there. You could have a cup of raspberries. There's eight grams of fiber right there. And your body will use, use that fiber to create something called short chain fatty acids, which I won't get into that in this video. So that's one thing you guys can do. And that's an easy one. Um, the second thing that you guys can do is to take a really good quality probiotic. That's healthy bacteria that can go in and colonize your gut with healthy bacteria. And in the next video, we'll delve a a little bit more into how do you even know what a good probiotic is? Cause that can be um, a little tricky for people. Uh, okay, well let's see. Another thing you guys can do is eat a variety of plant foods. So one thing we do know is that those people that are typically healthy have a large diversity of gut microbiome. And so studies have been shown that there are things that you can do to increase your diversity. And that's simply increasing how many different um, types of plant foods, different fruits and vegetables that you eat. So let's say you typically have, I don't know, an apple every day. I would say, okay, well maybe one day you could have an orange, one day you could have some broccoli, one day you could have some celery. Uh, just little things that you can do to get a variety of those types of foods in your diet will help tremendously. Another thing that you guys can do is go and hug a human. We just, just human interaction, sharing kind of that bacteria, we know increases the di diversity of our own bacteria. You can also have a pet. This was one that my husband resisted forever, but we do now have a dog and I can at least say to him, hey, we're getting different bacteria. That's a good thing in owning a pet. Uh, another thing that you guys can do is kind of look at your household items, maybe the things that you're putting in your laundry, the things that you're cleaning with, and just check to make sure that those don't have any of those harmful chemicals that, that might be wreaking some havoc on your healthy bacteria. And lastly, clean up your diet just a little bit. Look at the foods that you're eating, um, watch out for the sugar, the artificial sweeteners are terrible. I personally, I like stevia, I like silver fern brand cacao, I like a little bit of monk fruit, I like dates, they're loaded with fiber and all natural. So just a few little things that you guys can do so you don't feel like there's nothing you can do. It's, a, it's empowering to me at least to know that there's a few steps that you guys can take to help increase that healthy bacteria in your body.